Hey guys, what's up? Multi PS3 Game here again, and welcome back to another M Creative video. Now, as you can tell by the title, we are creating another mob. Uh, I actually did one of these videos earlier, but I don't think I explained it well enough. Because uh, there's just a lot of people asking about certain things uh, that are actually quite easy. Now, I know that I say it's easy and it's really difficult for you, and I know what you mean. Because when I first started doing M Creator, I was very confused. Um, and I needed help so I, I know where you're coming from so I decided to make this video again uh, and hopefully explain it better um, so this video is gonna have two parts the first part is the AI of the mob and I have a lot of questions on that uh, and I'm gonna try to answer as many as possible second thing is rideable mobs I've had a couple questions on this so I'm gonna I'm gonna have two different videos put into one um, but they're the same video uh, on the same mob. So first what you want to do like always is go and create your mob and we're going to name him Iron Bob. And then make sure you have a, a skin, uh, preferably 64 by 32 for this. Um, so I have my skin here. Uh, and then Byte. If you don't know what model mob model is, basically is Biped is a normal NPC, it's what you are in Minecraft, um, and then you have a ton of other things like chicken, cow, creeper, gas, pig, slime, spider, uh, villager, zombie, and silverfish, so on. You have to retexture those for that, so what I, what I am um, trying to say is you need to either look up on the internet a mob texture for the chicken or something that you can just retexture yourself or if you can find one that you already like and put it in there or you go into your minecraft folder and you take out the chicken uh, format texture so you have the texture of the chicken and just retexture it the way you want it um, but we're gonna have a bite because I want it to look like a normal human and then if you're good at 3d modeling you could use techne and then I'm pretty sure if you know how to use techne you know how to use the rest but if you don't you want to ask uh, egg color, this is, well, pretty obvious. It's just the egg color. I don't know how much more obvious it is. Let's try to make it one color. Um, and then the mob label. Uh, you don't have to fill this out, but I'm going to fill it out. I'm going to name it Iron Man Doodle Bob. Wait, no, not Iron. Iron Bob Doodle Bob. Uh, and then the name of the mob, Iron... Bob Doodle Bob uh, the mob and then with the mob you can either create it to be a mob creature flying type or water mob um, for the sake we're going to change it to flying because I think that'd be cool and with the riding it you can just ride around on a flying mob um, but if you want it to be a mob, like a normal mob, like a chicken or anything, or a creature, same thing. Uh, it sh do that. It's, it really doesn't change anything. I've never tried the flying out, so we're going to try it this one. Uh, attack strength and, and movement speed are something that I, I want you guys to test out. Uh, once you're done making the mob, go in your Minecraft client thing, environment, test environment and just test out the mob see what speeds you want it what tax rate what fits you what do you think you need to have it set as uh, and just mess around with it next is the mob equipment what the mob is using or holding and then the rest is the armor and it tells you to the left in order from the boxes uh, I don't want my mob to be holding anything or have anything in his hand so we're just gonna skip that um, then the health of the mob I'm gonna put my mob up to 25 health, um, and then check up to the check is immune to fire, and then what the mob drops. So the first box is the mob drops, and the second box is rare drops. And it says it right here also. So a normal drop for our mob is gonna be a diamond, and then a rare drop. We're gonna have it set to another star. Uh, experience amount, how much experience you get from the mob, and if you don't know the experience scale, uh, I recommend you look it up because it can get a little bit confusing. Uh, the living sound. Uh, let's do... Uh, I 
Let's do an Ender Dragon Growl for the living sound. Uh, and then I'm going to leave the Hurt sound and Death sound the same. Uh, you can change it if you want. Next is events. So if you want your mob to get struck by lightning, or if it does ever get struck by lightning, say you have a lightning hammer because you're Thor or something, or I don't know. Uh, it can do... Could... You can have it set to explode. Um, it can teleport. Uh, it can spawn another one of the mobs. Uh, you can do the same thing with mob falls when killed. Uh, when mob attacks. Uh, and then if you right click on the mob or something. Or when it's killed. You can have it set to where you get an achievement. Um, but otherwise we're just going to leave everything blank. And then we're going to move on to the AI section. Now this section I want you guys to pay close attention to. Because I get a lot of questions. So the first thing is has AI. And if you check this. You don't have to mess with this. Just leave this alone. Have it set to none. Um, if you ch if you click on something else and you have this checked, it's going to screw up the AI. The, the AI is going to be screwed up, and it, I don't even think it's going to recompile. So have this set to none if you have this checked. Now, if you don't have this checked, you're going to want to click one of these, um, either Creeper Skeleton, Enderman, Blaze, Slime, Witch, Zombie, um, and then the AI will be, be based off of an already created mob that's in Minecraft. But we're going to create our own AI, so we're going to check has AI. And then if you want your boss to be, or your mob to be a boss and have a health bar, you can check this. But we don't want our uh, mob to be a boss, so we'll leave that alone. Now, here's a box down here. This is probably the most difficult part for people. Uh, so we're going to click uh, click to add AI task. Now, you're going to get a ton of other abilities right here. Uh, and then a task priority at the top. But here to the right, it explains what some of the abilities do if you don't know what it means. Uh, so act aggressively against and then at entity type we're going to do entity player so uh, it will act aggressively against me so we want the task priority to be 10 so the bigger number means bigger priority which in other words it's going to attack you no matter what uh, so the second thing we're going to do wander we'll have it set to 5 so it's just going to wander around a little bit or it has a, a good chance of wandering around um, and then we'll do leap at target and we'll make that six now you don't have to have as many as I do you can have the whole list all of these um, in your AI you can have just one of these so there's just you can have just attack aggressively against or wander either of those or you can have three doesn't matter just make sure it has some kind of AI if you have this checked um, and if you have if you don't have this checked and you have selected one of these AIs and you don't have to do anything down here it will not do anything as a mob it's gonna go and use the AI that you have selected up here so if you have this checked make sure this is set to none and then choose your AI um, and if you don't have this checked make sure you choose your AI uh, after that you're gonna hit none or er, not none next sorry and then we have the spawn probability this is the spawn probability of the mob so there's a 20% chance of the mob spawning, and then minimal number of mobs in each biome or chunk. Uh, so we'll have three mobs at the minimum, and then maximum number of mobs is, we're going to keep that as 30. Uh, and then this is checked only on a specific biome. So if you want your boss or mob to spawn in a certain biome and only that biome, check this box and then choose a biome and then if you have your own biomes that you've created it will also let you uh, choose the biome that you've created but we have no biomes that I've created and I want it to spawn everywhere so we're gonna leave that unchecked and then, and then the last thing is does the mob spawn in dungeons if it spawn if you want it to spawn like a spider spawner or have a spider spawner a skeleton spawner anything like those uh, check this and it's gonna have its own type of spawner so now we're done with that but I want to explain one more thing with this so some of you guys might want your boss or your mob to only spawn at night you're gonna wanna have it set or you, you're gonna wanna have it um, restrict sun so if you have it at 10 it's gonna be like a uh, uh, what's it? a zombie uh, it will not spawn during the day and if it does it's gonna catch on fire um, but if you want your mo your your mob or your boss to spawn whenever, just 
leave that alone. Uh, but restrict stun is only for if you want your boss to spawn at night. So now we're done with that. We're gonna let the bot the the mob recompile, and then we'll be back with the rideable mob part. Alrighty, so once the mob is recompiled and stuff, and if you have any troubles with the AI, go ahead and mess with it. Um, sometimes the AI doesn't work and you have to restart your M creator. The AI for the mob is, it's very, it's not very difficult, but it's, um, it's, it's sometimes it, it's, it's kind of broken, um, and they still haven't fixed it. Um, so it's kind of difficult, and if you guys are having any trouble, and it's not working I recommend you just delete the mob and restart over try using um, one of the already created mob AIs uh, that may help it um, close enough to your AI that you're using but otherwise it, it, it's, it's annoying because sometimes it doesn't work but hopefully in your case it does so to create the rideable mob, all you have to do is click. Oops. Click your mob, and then click the two brackets that say "Edit Code of Selected Code Element." Scroll all the way down to where you find something that says "Public Boolean Interact Entity Player," um, and then once you find that, there should be some brackets. I want you to highlight the bracket, the last bracket before the giant space. Highlight all the way up to public boolean. Now there's going to be a code in the description of the video, and I want you to copy or go to the link, copy the code, and all you have to do is paste it in. Now it should paste to the bottom, and it should say slash slash ride height, and all this stuff, and then it gives you a line this dot written by entity positioning. Uh, this basically sets the position of your mob, or where the height of where you ride your mob. So one would be at the top of the mob, um, like a cow or a horse, you'd be riding on the top of the mob. Uh, zero point uh, one would be like a chicken, like you're at the height of a chicken. Uh, you're like in the middle of the mob, and then 0, 0.0, you leave it like it is, it's like a silverfish, it's like the height of a silverfish, and you guys know how small silverfish are, hopefully, so that's how high the silverfish, or that's how high you'd be riding it, so we don't want to ride it at full height, so we're going to set it to 0 0.1, it'll be right in the middle, so once you're done with that, hit save and recompile, and we'll be right back in the game. Alright, so we are back in the game, and I have the mob egg in my hand. Uh, so we're going to spawn the mob, and as you tell, it has the Ender Dragon sound. And there's just another one chilling right there. Just chilling. chilling in the corner. Alright, I'm going to turn that down for the fight. Alright, so, to ride the mob, all you got to do City. Uh, so, like I said, 0 0.1 will put you in the middle of the mob or inside the mob. And we're in the eyes, as you can tell. Um, you can also set it to where, if you right click it, it gives you invisibility for however long you want it to be. Um, and then you can walk around with the mob. Now, with the flying type, I am floating because I set it to flying type and I never I've, oh frick I've never used a flying type before uh, and I assume that it's gonna go down by itself so the flying type is a little weird because I don't know how to go down um, oh, some iron bobs over here I'll jump on those back and forth. Uh, but the regular mob, you'd be able to run around like normal. Uh, you walk up blocks, you can walk down blocks. Uh, the water type can swim really fast in water. And then this is just the flying type, so I don't know how to go down. But the mob type is different. Uh, it has a different AI, I guess. I'm just going to explain it out here. 
Um, but as you saw that it worked. Um, the flying type is weird, so if you want to have a flying mob, that's how you do it. I don't know how to go down, so I, if I find out how to go down, I'll explain it in my next video. Um, but that's pretty much all for this video. And one quick announcement, and that is, people are asking if I know how to make slabs for stairs. I do in the older versions of Minecraft, and when I say older versions, like 1.6 and down. Uh, 1.7 and up, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, and I think, I feel like they might have taken out the feature, because I've been looking at the things, and I, I can't seem to figure it out. Um, but I know how to do it in the later versions, so if you guys really want me to show you how to make a slab, or some stairs in the later versions of Minecraft, I can show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was really helpful. If you guys have any other questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. Uh, make sure to leave this video a like, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. You obviously enjoyed it. So make sure you go to check out the links to the left, my Twitch and my Twitter, and follow both those. Make sure you check out the video that's being played in the middle of the screen. It's a great video. And yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you like it and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.